Welcome to the video guide for Eden's Promise Umbra, the first raid of the 5.4 patch, or E9N for you cool kids. This is a fight that transitions between three different distinct phases and will continually transition between the three of them, so I'm going to run you through all of that nonsense. Not to mention, the Cloud of Darkness looks uh, pretty great. Let's go kill her. First up in her abilities is Ground Raising Particle Beam. There's nothing you can do, you're just going to take it in the face, everyone in the raid, heal it up. The next major ability is Art of Darkness. Pay attention to her hands, you will notice that one is glowing, that's the side she's about to punch into oblivion. Next up is Wide Angle Particle Beam. You've been preparing for this attack your entire raiding career, dodge it. Then we have Zero Form Particle Beam, which is going to explode your tank in a direct line. Don't be near your friends. Eventually she'll get tired of this room's aesthetic and decide that she wants to send you to a DDR room, so she'll blast everyone with a nice AoE, make sure you heal up, and get your dancing shoes on. To set the mood, she'll cast Flood of Darkness, which means if you stand on the square she's on, you die. In the corners of the room, explode! And then it goes into DDR mode. So basically as you stand on a square, it's going to turn from this little yellow border to an eventual red border. You want to be off of that square when it turns to a red border. It will not reset that square until everybody is off. As you're working on your dance moves to avoid death, she's going to continue casting abilities from the first phase as well. So don't just stare at your feet, that's not going to make you a great dance partner for the raid. You need to keep your eyes also on her cast bar. When she's decided you've had enough dancing, she's going to cast Obscure Woods and send you into the forest. And it's going to really hurt. It's a raid-wide AoE. Make sure you heal. From here, she can cast Flood of Obscurity. This is going to push you away from her. Don't get pushed into a death zone. That would be bad. From there, you're going to get all these death zones filled with these balls, and they're going to tether you. When it's a light tether like this, you want to get as close to it as you can. When it changes to the rope, you want to run away as far as you can until it breaks. Do this successfully, and you will live to see another day. If you don't, you'll get sucked into your death zone and obliterated. Another fun ability they have is Wide Angle Phaser. These gold tethers here will tell you which wall you need to run to right away, and don't stand in the middle of the room because that's where the damage is. Next up is Rejuvenating Bomb, signified by these purple tethers. They're telling you which walls you don't want to be near, so go away from those two walls in the center and make sure that you put on your deodorant, because you and all of your raid party are going to get real close. Deluge of Darkness will signify that it's time to get out of the woods, and for your healers to heal everybody in the party, another room-wide AoE, and you are back into the ornate stone room. From here, Particle Concentration is an ability you're very familiar with. A bunch of columns will pop up with beams pointing to the sky. Make sure someone is standing in each of these, otherwise this giant meteor will go from a little drop on the head to a raid-wide ouchie. Once you transition back down into the DDR room, Hypercharged Condensation will be spawning two adds onto the sides of the room. You want to kill these before they get to the boss. If you stand in the way of them, they'll actually slow down, but if they make it all the way to her, she's going to get a nice old buffy buff. Don't let her get that. The last mechanic you need to be aware of is this summon ability which puts green people in two corners of the room. They're pointing in a specific direction. The boss is going to do a point blank AoE and they are going to do a line blast. Don't be in either of those locations. If you are able to follow all of those instructions, the cloud of darkness will writhe around in pain for a while and she will disappear into a nice little puffy smoke. You've successfully completed the raid. Duty complete, I've been Keylime, thank you for tuning in, happy hunting, and I'll see you in a future video.